O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great week, folks. Don't take anything personally. Transform your life. When you refuse to take things personally, you avoid many upsets in your life. Your feelings of anger, jealousy, and even sadness will simply disappear if you don't take them personally. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 31, Nasdaq down 39, SP's off two and a half. Gold, gold contract up to $8.70 trading at 1999 an ounce. We have the silver market up 14 cents, $25.42 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 89 cents. $78.76 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, up 12 ticks, trading 114.27. The 30-year up 27 ticks at 130.24 in King Dollar. King Dollar's down 453 ticks, trading 101.369. The euro's at 110. The yen is at 134. And the British pound is at 124 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want we'll know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, let's bring the future up first. So you get a small consolidation out here. We take a look at this. You, you don't have a high volume low. You know, so we, bottom line, you, you, you came down this afternoon, I mean, this morning with volume. You know, this thing's sticking out here. And, and that's, that's it's the consolidation. It's a small consolidation. That's the bottom line. We'll see how this that baby shakes out. It doesn't seem to have enough juice to get back up and over this uh, 4152, a uh, 57, 4157. It's going to test it right now. We'll see if it get any juice to get it. So bottom line, you got to sell it right off the bat. There's no doubt about that. The, the first seller that came in came in about quarter past 10. That's big volumes down on the way down. It was 61,000 on the way down. As you're going back up, it was at 29,000. This bar is coming into it with uh, 17,000. Yeah, and you only get a minute left. So we'll see, we'll see how that baby shakes out. The thing that's intriguing out here today, folks, is this, is that the dollar, you know, we, we've been going tick for tick for the dollar and the S&P. Um, and the bottom line is that that changed intraday out here today because you can see what happened. They're still selling the dollar all the way down. We're almost at the lows of the day. 101.332 is the low of the day. And the market hasn't been able to basically get any traction. So we'll see where that shakes out. You know, you're coming into, the well, not strength of the dollar, but where the dollar took off from at the low that was established out here in January. That number is the 101,546. We hit 101, well, we're at 101,332. So bottom line is that, uh, you, you know, you're under that, that number. So we'll see how this shakes out. Gold, gold's the same way, man. Gold coming into the downdraft. We take a look at this intraday, what you're gonna see from three days ago, for that, yeah, three days ago. You're gonna see, you're coming right into that big downdraft. And that downdraft has, uh, 13,000 contracts and all the contract value on the way up. The biggest one we have is 2,700 kind of going to that. So that's going to take a while to basically eat through that area. We go into the queues. We take a look at the queues. Same setup in the queues. We, 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 there's a very large contraction of volume today, folks, and there's not a reason for it. I mean, this is not summertime trade, man. <laughs> you know, this is, this is, in fact, this week here, there's more earnings than this is the biggest earnings week in the S&P 500, so there's not a reason for it. Um, that being said, you know, if the queues can't close today over that 317.40, which we've already been over it, uh, but it gave it up, that, that's a heads up big time that you're going to go south. We have 33 million shares out here. You're going into 59 million from Friday. If we take a look at this, you're going to see it's coming. This is just having a tough time coming into the downdraft from this morning. The first, the first leg up had uh, 750,000 shares coming into the 1.3 million. This leg here, yeah, this is still on. No, this just started. The leg before it had 450,000 going into 700. Yeah, going into that uh, big number, that, that 
three million shares. So I suspect, you know, it's going to have a tough time getting through that. We then take a look at the uh, leaders inside the NVX 100. You got Zoom is up 3%. You got, uh, what is this? Baker Hughes is up uh, 2%. Fang, which is uh, Diamondback Energy, is up 1.8%. Uh, Taken away from it, Pindo will do is off 4.5%. You get JD off 2.8%. Micron's off 2.5%. Inside the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the strength. The strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. Point wise, out here. You have United yeah, Health putting 33 health positive health points, health Goldman 22, Chevron 20. Taken away from it, Microsoft minus 27. You got Salesforce minus 25. You get American Express minus 18. If we go in the note and bond market, this one's going to get intriguing now because you don't have enough juice. There's not enough volume here, but it's holding out in price. You only got 713,000 contracts. But bottom line, and, you know, this wants to go for the highs again. You know, so we have the higher price, lower yield. Right now, the 10-year is yielding 3.5. Last three months, the low has been 3.3. The high has been 4. Let me just see what this is, how we've done this for a year yet. Look at the year. is still 2. So the year is 2.5 to 4.2. Check that out, right? And six months is... 3.3. See how we're getting, so getting closer, closer now? now? So, so six, six months. months. We've been up here for a while. We're at 3.5, and last six months, the low has been 3.3, the high 4.2. You know, so in one way you look at it, we're seven tenths lower, and another way you can look at it, we're two tenths higher. You know, it's going to be, and by the way, what is going on with the, the short end of the curve, uh, the amount of short positions are huge, are absolutely huge. So. We'll, we'll see which way that wants to go. Some of the higher volume equities out here, and this is going to be a low volume market, and we'll see whether it can, oh, First, First Republic, this is going to be awesome after the close out here today, folks. First Republic, that's the, you know, they haven't been able to uh, find someone for that yet, but they're going to be coming out with their numbers after the close. That's trading $15.71. Stay right there, folks, we'll come right back. We have the Dow Industrials uh, trading. Up 58, NASDAQ is down 36, S&P is up one and a half. Stay right there, come back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes, folks. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more.